so I think I cleaned it probably maybe it will be better than before that's for sure and here are the heat sinks I have to really scrape it I don't know what happened here it was really like chewing gum like old really old hard chewing gum I scraped it but it didn't disturb the surface very much I think it will be fine or at least better than it was before like I said so let's put some thermal paste on both heat sinks and let's hope for the best here is some 15 year old thermal paste bought for like three dollars like that it's too much but who cares it's not conductive so let's put it on Ooh, this way like that make sure it's aligned then press down or how do you glue are these in the right spot oh yes they are right there and right there I just have to push harder because it must be scraping against the hole, the wa wall of the hole and the plastic is uh, it will go in very hard they probably do it differently in the factory so you just have to push or maybe twist just push oh yes this one yes okay it moves a little pushes down on the thermal paste okay and the other one this doesn't need much paste even though it's a bigger chip this is just uh, like two watts or maybe one on some made boards they leave it bare without a heat sink it doesn't get very hot so let's put on this tiny tiny heat sink I don't think this helps much but it's there for a reason I think okay it moves a little once it heats up and some time passes it will spread the thermal paste and uh, it will be fine so I'm curious whether this will fix the problem well, it will be interesting to find out because that paste under the big heat sink that was just just awful like like old chewing gum oh boy so that's it for now.